Hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss the remainder theorem. So first we have to go through the sentence. The remainder theorem state that when a polynomial function is a fx is divided by x plus a, the remainder is f bracket negative a, or I can say r bracket negative a is a remainder as well. Another example, if the polynomial for the function px is divided by ax plus b, the remainder is p bracket negative b over a, or I can say r negative b over a as a remainder as well. So now we are going to discuss a specific example. Find the remainder. So meaning that we are going to find a remainder when the polynomial x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 14 is divided by x minus 2. So in here, the px will be the function x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 14. And the divisor will be x minus 2. So here, we have two methods. So number one, I'm going to use the long division to find the remainder. So now I'm going to insert the function x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 14. So the divisor will be x minus 2. So first we are going to uh, cancelling the x cubed. So by multiply x squared. So I will have x cubed minus 2x squared. So I will have 7x square minus 3x minus 14. So followed by, now my mission is to cancelling the 7x square. So I'm going to multiply with 7x. So 7x square minus 14x. Here we have another product. So which is... 11x minus 14. So finally, we're going to cancelling the 11x. So by multiply 11. So 11x minus 22. So now we have our product, which is equals to 8. So in here, the remainder is 8. So I will write my answer, R. 2 is equal to 8. That is the first method by using the long division. Now I'm going to discuss the second method to find the remainder by using the remainder theorem. So first, let the function or the expression as px. So x cubed minus 5 plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 14. So the remainder theorem, we are going to substitute x is equal to 2 into the function. So we will have p2 will be equals to 2 to the power of 3 plus 5, 2 to the power of 2 minus 3 multiplied with 2 minus 14. So in here we will have 8 plus 20 minus 6 minus 14 so p2 will be equals to 28 minus 20 so finally p2 will be equals to 8 or i can say the remainder will be equals to 8 so here are the two methods which is helping us to find the remainder when the polynomial is divided by x minus 2 so here we are and thanks for watching.